Welcome to another episode of MongoDB in 10 minutes or less. My name is Colin Baird, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the live migrate feature in Atlas to migrate a cluster from one project or organization to another project or organization. So let's go ahead and get started. So live migrate is an overlay on top of the Mongo mirror process, which effectively gives you the ability to replicate data from one cluster, the source cluster, to another cluster, the destination cluster. And in doing so, keeping the two in sync up until the point in time where you decide to perform the cutover, changing the connection string to your application or services to point to the new environment. So we can see here, I have a newly created cluster and this is the destination. Uh, and this cluster resides under the SAWW Corp organization in the Seabird project. And then I have the source cluster uh, called A cluster, which resides in the ATX organization under A project. So now there are a couple prerequisites. So let's step through this wizard. Start by clicking the ellipses on the target cluster, choose the migrate data to this cluster option. And then in the wizard, you'll see two options, general live migration and migrate from ops manager or cloud manager. Since we are targeting an Atlas cluster, we will just do the general live migration. And then here we can see our main prerequisites. So we have a couple network entries uh, that we will need to include in our access list, as well as a user with the appropriate privileges. Uh, we also have a certificate file, but that will not apply uh, in this case to the Atlas migration. So now here, when we start, we can see that we have four subnets that we will need to whitelist. And uh, this, these whitelist entries are going to be input in the uh, source cluster. And then uh, also we're going to want to put in our host name and port for the primary of our replica set, as well as the username and password um, that uh, will authenticate to this database. So what, uh, first you're going to start by copying these uh, network entries and uh, you will go over to your source cluster and then under network access you will create access list entries for all four of these items. Now I'll show you what it looks like on the source side only because in the other environment I have some uh, pre-existing entries. Uh, so in here we would just enter in the um, respective IP address and then we can say that this is the live migrate entry. Um, so we will do all four of these. And then under database access, we want to make sure, again, being under the um, source environment or the source project, we'll create a user. Um, and then we just want to make sure that the user has the three uh, specific privileges. Now, I'll put in the documentation for this process into the description uh, below this video. Uh, but effectively, we're going to want three roles, and that is the role of backup, cluster monitor, and read any database. So if we come back in here, uh, we can choose the built-in role of read any database, and then we come down to specific privileges, and we will add the two remaining specific privileges, which is backup and cluster monitor. So once these are all added, you can go ahead and create this user. Um, and then the next step will be to uh, finally go to our source cluster, and we're going to get the primary host name. So you can do this by clicking View Monitoring. And then we can see we have our two secondaries and then our primary is indicated here by this P. If we click on this, we can go ahead and copy this host name. And then now we can go back to our destination cluster. We'll click the ellipses, choose Migrate Data to this cluster, and then we will actually step through this process. So we'll go ahead and enter in the host name. We know that we have our um, network uh, access list entries input. And then on this, we'll just put in the username and password. And then we're going to validate. So this will run a connection and authentication check against our source cluster. And then we can see that we are good to go, that it's uh, established a connection and authenticated with the credentials provided. So we can go ahead and choose start migration. So now 
Uh, next is uh, the period of time where your data is going to start replicating and syncing uh, with the source. And uh, from there, really, it's just a matter of uh, grabbing this new connection string once everything is, is fully in sync um, and updating this in your uh, respective environments. And then we would say once this process is complete, we can uh, prepare to cut over and cut the services over. And that's it. That's as simple as it is uh, to perform a migration within Atlas using Live Migrate. Thanks for watching.